Gah. If I had the control of the rewind of the custom ROMs for the Redmi Note 3, I would want to see top 5 ROMs of 2018 which has been there and which has been serving us, so the best works of the developers in 2018. So let's start it from here, the top 5 ROMs for the Redmi Note 3. So at number 5 coming at you is the Lineage OS, based on Android Audio. So on this list, this is only the audio based ROM over there and I have to say this is one of the best ROMs if you wanna use on your Redmi Note 3 and in my opinion this has the customizations but it doesn't have like huge amount of customizations or something like that. The customizations are there but it's not something which you wanna boast about because there are a lot more custom ROMs in like based on Android Pie which has huge ton of customizations. So this ROM has the stability, the battery life you need, you will get 3-4 to four hours of screen on time because this device is almost 3 years old now so don't expect more than that but overall performance, overall customizations and in terms of daily driving this ROM will serve you pretty sure because the camera apps are st pretty stable over here, the battery life is pretty stable and the customizations is pretty average and the performance the gaming performance and stuff is pretty good and you will get the google pay and stuff working right away after you flash the rom so at number five lineage os is the best one for you so let's come at number four well i'll consider over like this list as my opinion so don't take it personally guys this is totally my opinion you can like literally disagree if you want to so at number four we have miui developer beta version which is the MIUI 10 just because I am listing it over here because over on the MIUI like official MIUI global beta you will get the best gaming performance but in other custom ROMs your phone might get heated up a little bit and if you are a gamer this ROM will help you because in like in most custom ROMs if you play games continuously like PUBG it will drain you a lot of battery so that costs too much so in me why this won't happen in like my usage i did not see that happening so if you are a gamer just consider having the global beta version of me y10 in the redmi note 3 so i'll link all the things in the description box below and over here you will get the best stability too like if you want to use like your phone as the best stability you want you do not want any kind of like hiccups or bugs so this is the best performance you can get in me why and even the battery life is pretty good considering this is a three years old device again. So let's talk about the number three now. Well, the number three over here is the pixel experience based on Android Pie. Well, the Redmi Note 3 has the pixel experience based on Android Pie. And if you want to use Android Pie on your three years old device, this is one of the best choice because this ROM is pure stock Android. This is totally like using a pixel device on your Redmi Note 3. So there you do not get any kind of customization of course like you do not even have the double tap to sleep and stuff so it's pure stock android it, it will get you the android pie pure animations and stuff but you do not get any customization so do keep that in mind before flashing that rom so let's talk about the number two well i'm literally confused even myself talking about the number two I'll talk about it later on but now let's talk about the number one I'll I'll push the number two later on now the number one of course is the Havoc OS well the Havoc OS has everything you need you can even use Google Pay and stuff but for that you have to just like disable the phone and SMS app permission if I recall it correctly like just disable the phone and SMS app permission from the Google Play services then set up your Google Pay or any other banking app then it should be working fine and regarding customizations this one has everything this one has like you can customize the quick toggle styles you can customize the like the translucent effect on the status bar and a lot of stuff you have the brightness control you have the double tap to sleep you have the double tap to wake and everything is present over here fingerprint scanner vaulty everything works fine vaulty works on both the sims on these roms all i'm mentioning over here in android pi so you do not need to worry about vaulty at all in the first sim slot if you put your geo sim it will work the vaulty will work and it is same for the second sim slot too so you don't need to worry about vaulty at all of these roms so now let's talk about the number two well i'll show you what it is 
So in my opinion this is the number 2 and this is the 11th December 2018 build of the Liquid Remix ROM based on Android Pie and over here as you can see we have the Vaulty logo right here and I have inserted my GeoSIM on the second SIM slot and it's been working fine the Vaulty is working and over here in my opinion why this is the best ROM you may ask because this has a lot of customizations and this has the quick step launcher by default you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get the quick settings panel or the notification panel and you can swipe left to go to your like google now cards panel and what else we have the double tap anywhere on the home screen to make the phone into sleep so this is a pretty cool feature and we even have these kind of features like from where you can like adjust the brightness and stuff by sliding a finger on the status bar so these features in my opinion are pretty cool and let me show you the stock camera over here this is pretty basic so as you can see we have the old google camera but you can install latest google cameras too like the pixel 3 camera if you want to or if you don't know how to do it here is a card for you so that will help you and what else we have like this rom's performance is really really good let me open some of the apps and show you and as you can see the animations over here are pretty quick i think it's set to 0.25x or something so it's pretty fairly quick as you can see now do keep in mind guys this is a three year old device running android pi so you may expect some of like hiccups but as you can see the animations and app open ups are pretty fine and the ram management too is pretty like smooth as you can see all the apps are in memory so you don't need to worry at all regarding the memory management and over here i am using these capacity buttons but you can use the android pie gesture buttons too like the navigation button and you can even use full screen gestures too let me show you the settings panel and over here we have the quick settings panel and you have a lot of options over here you can add as you can see you have the screen record and stuff too if you want to add them you can just add the toggles over here and night light and stuff works just fine as you can see it just turns the brightness down automatically so as you can see if i turn it off it will go where i left it so let's go into settings and let me show you the system about phone and we even have the liquid remix ot update checker and this is the official rom so as you can see right now it says no updates available because this is the latest version let's go into android version and over here you will see liquid remix build is 11th december 2018 and android version is of course 9 pi and the security patch over here is december 5th 2018 so this is running super fine and in my opinion this is one amazing rom and inside developer settings make sure after you flash the rom just go into default usb configuration and set it to file transfer otherwise your data transfer from your pc with a micro usb cable might not work so let's go back let me show you the display settings now and here we have some interesting stuff here we will get the settings dashboard icons so you can set like set the settings icons to round rounded accent like it will go let me show you which are we talking about so these icons as you can see you can change these shapes so this is a pretty cool feature and you can change the colors too if you want to like set it to accent color which is blue right now if i set it round accent it will change to blue and circle and you can even change it to audio style and audio accent style too and what else we have advanced and from here you can change the background color or the theming option so you can set it to light dark black or automatic pretty cool and you can set the notification color too like the notification appears so you can change the colors you can set it to light or dark or even black and we have the accent color option here you will get the material palette colors and you can get the user requested colors too so we have everything over here and we have the quick setting header style so it's right now black if i set it to accent based let me just wait for a bit and as you can see you have the blue accent color option and this looks pretty cool in my opinion as you can see and we, if you go into the quick setting style you can change the quick setting style too you'll get the square middle and stuff and these stuff looks pretty awesome let me just go like this and as you can see it has changed and you, you will get these many of options you can get the poke sign oreo ninja mountain ink drop and a lot of options even the dual tone circle and stuff is there so a lot of options and you can even change the like corners just notice the corners over here and if you just change it like this as you can see the corners become a lot more rounded and you can change the padding too if you want to 
So if you want to show the data and stuff a little bit padded out, so you can do that. Let me just set it to how it was before. I'll leave it like this. So as you can see, you can customize more stuff over here and you will get the font manager over here and you can change the fonts. I have set it to Google Sans, I guess. You can set like all over the UI fonts from here. You can have the Xperia, LG, Samsung, etc. fonts from here. So pretty cool feature, lot of options and you can change the font size, display size and DPI too. So now let me show you the raw customizations inside Liquid Launch. You will get a lot of customizations. Here you get the ambient display and stuff and ambient display is working fine. You can even get the dose mode settings and stuff. And this is working super fine. You don't need to worry. Now playing is there for ambient display and inside animations. You can get the CRT animation and stuff. Like if you double tap on the status bar, as you can see, the, it does the CRT animation. So it looks pretty cool. Let me adjust the brightness again because I'm using the status bar brightness and you will get the power button like power menu animation you can change it however you like let me just show you so as you can see how it comes so looks pretty cool and you even have the quick setting like quick tile animation style you can set it to flip or rotate if you want to so these features are pretty interesting we have the buttons option you can just disable the hardware keys and use the software button if you want to just disable keys you have to enable it and you can like set the backlight and stuff over here you can change the double tap long press etc like actions for these capacity buttons and you can get the home button when ringing option so you can just disable it if you want and inside gestures these are like most amazing features over here you get the status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep and other than that you will get the screen of power button torch three finger swipe to take a screenshot and you have the gesture anywhere feature too and let me show you the other gestures you have the pie control too like if you want to get the app pie option and inside navigation gesture you get the full screen gesture but it does not show the animations actually and it does work but it's kind of like the oneplus gestures but over here you will get the edge gestures so this is similar to miui if i enable it let me show you so both sides are there and if i do this as you can see it's kind of like the miui animation and this works super fine so edge gestures are pretty fine and works just amazingly and I like it and inside carbon gestures you will have the carbon rom kind of gestures and inside USB gesture you will get the swipe up home button inside like lock screen we have a lot of stuff even we have the face auto unlock and stuff if you want to and fingerprint unlock always is there media cover art and stuff is there you can change the like the celsius and stuff and let me show you one more interesting thing is you can change the fonts of the lock screen date and the clock size so as you can see i have changed it to bold italic so let me just show you how it looks like pretty much bold and you can see the date style a little bit bigger so you can change the font size too from here if you want to let me change it to 120 maybe so as you can see it's pretty large let me change it to 40 so i think the font has been a little bit different because i rebooted my phone once so as you can see now it's fixed so it, it looks pretty cool you can customize however you want it we have misc stuff and you can get the pocket detection wake up on charge disabling option and stuff from here so a lot of lot of customizations let me show you some other things maybe some interesting thing if i can find so in call vibration option is there you can like enable the in call vibration for vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting on disconnect and even vibrate for notification option is there and you can disable heads up and stuff so it won't annoy you i think so and inside navigation you can enable the navigation bar of android pi of course as you can see and you can change it to stock or like other things i guess so here as you can see you have the navigation mode you can change it to smart bar or fling if you want to one handed mode is there if you swipe like this let me just show you as you can see it appears you can set the size of it like the one handed mode so this is a pretty interesting feature and you can set the height of this like the navigation bar as you can see you can change the height so let me just disable it as i am using the capacity buttons inside power menu we get the advanced reboot and stuff if you want to directly boot into recovery you can do that let's go back we have the quick settings option and you can have the quick pull down and smart pull down too from here and recent panel, we, you can change the recent panel style to quick step stock or android go style if you want those stuff 
and inside stereo's bar you can have a lot of customizations you have the liquid logo and stuff you have the breathing like animation of the mist color alert and stuff network traffic monitor is there brightness control volt icon 4g icon instead of lte is there i don't know why the hide notch option is there but yes it is there and battery bar and stuff is there if you use that it will help you and inside clock settings let me show you you can change the like this clock font style so i have changed it to condensed bold italic and you can change the size of it as you can see from here i'm changing the sizes and it's working fine i do not have any issues regarding this stuff and you can even change the font color too let me just change it to blue so as you can see it changed it so let me just change it to green maybe right now so as you can see these are like pretty interesting features in my opinion and you won't be getting these features in most roms and you have the stereo bar icons and stuff so everything is there lot of customizations is there i i was literally confused regarding the 1 and 2 position but i gave the first position to have a quest because it it has the customizations it has the stability too but i am not sure like one or two is pretty close you don't need to worry that if you flash this liquid remix you won't get like good experience that's not the case here and let me show you the gaming performance quickly here and here you will get the android pi volume panels too so as you can see you can put the phone into vibrate or silent mode from here so you can play pubg at balanced and medium settings but the hd option is not available for this device like by default and as you can see it's been playing fine and i do not see any kind of huge frame drops or something it's pretty fine so you will see one or two minor frame drops as you can see it's happening here and there so it's not the best experience out there but yeah this is pretty good to play like i am not having huge issues while playing this game at all so this is fine So that is pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now